Oh! Oh, come on! No, what? Really? What? Come on! Are you kidding me, Superman? Master Wayne, there's a package for you. Not now, Alfred. I'm watching Man of Steel. Well, you're just going to let the building fall down on everyone? Good job, Superman. A plus work there, asshole. Sir, it's leaking. Well, that's never a good sign. And one last thing, sir. It wasn't addressed to Bruce Wayne. It was addressed to Batman. <gasps> Wait a minute. No, okay, that means what I think it means. <gasps> I swear, if Batman called this meeting just to show off his new boy toy... Ah! Oh god, please don't let it be Batman's boy toy! Who did this?! Um, Batman? Are you alright? Answer me! Who sent me the head of Ra's al Ghul? I don't know. Seems like a Green Arrow kind of thing to do. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, not this time. Wasn't me. Sorry. I'm not playing around. Only the people in this room know where my Batcave is. So please explain to me how the disembodied head of one of my greatest enemies was delivered to my secret hideout for your first class mail. Well, it wasn't me. I can't afford the first class shipping. I want answers! Batman, I don't know if intimidation will work on us. Fine. Wonder Woman? Yes? Get your lasso. Woo, yes! Woo Tie me on up, baby! It's Ollie Ollie Oxen free! Bear me in the woods when you're done! I'm not good at cat calls, I'm sorry. I swear, do you have any idea how difficult it is to be the only woman in this group? I don't know. I've never asked. Green Arrow, how difficult is it to be the only woman in this group? Batman, let's start with him. Did you cut off the head of Ra's al Ghul? No! Why are you punching me? You don't need to punch me when I'm wearing the lasso. Did you deliver the head of Ra's al Ghul to the Batcave? Again? No! Were you, in any way, shape, or form, part of any plan to murder Ra's al Ghul? No! How many times have you seen Spider-Man 3? Twice! I knew it! Damn it! Green Arrow, this is not the time! I saw an opportunity and I went for it. Batman, this is getting us nowhere. I'm not having a bad time. I think that it's possible that one of your enemies has compromised your secret identity. Possibly Joker? No! He wouldn't ruin the game he thinks we're always playing by letting other players play. Well, we all need to be on the lookout for anything suspicious. Let's head back to our home cities and keep an eye out for douchebags who like to kill bad guys. Why are you looking at me? I saw the new movie. What does- No, no, no. Keep your mouth shut. Dick. Is Nestor a severed hand? Aw, oh, damn it. Something is going on. Okay. Sorry about this for the second night in a row, but something out of the ordinary has happened. This was delivered to my home. Anyone have any idea what this is? That's a hand. It's Sinestro's hand. Oh my gosh, that's Sinestro's hand. What is it? Care to explain, Flash? Explain? What, me? I, uh, wait, 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 wait. Why did- You're the only one here who knows my secret identity. You're the only one here who knows where I live. What do I have to do to prove to you that it wasn't me? And wait a second, why am I always the first one that people blame? Lasso of truth time! No! No, I didn't. Look, if it were me, then why would I deliver these to myself? Do you know what those are? Looks like marbles. But they aren't. Those are eyes. Do you know the difference between eyes and marbles? Not everyone has marbles. Whose eyes are they, Flash? Gorilla Grodd's. Another foe's. Their plan is working. They've managed to take out some of the biggest names in the current criminal empire, and they've got us jumping at each other's throats. Then I say we settle this right now. Me too. Hello, my name is Barry Allen, and I've been the Flash for 12 years. Yeah, that... that wasn't what I was talking about. What? So... why haven't the rest of us been sent anything? I would assume that it's only a matter of time! And that's why I propose a plan. Why is it that when I propose a plan, no one else follows through? I propose that we all stake out each other's villains. Just for a few nights. Alright. Who gets who? I really want Poison Ivy! No! No, no, no hear me out! No. no, it's not because... No. You're not even... My bad, bad. excuse is going to stop working someday! Bad... Man! Fine! I'll just take whoever you give me. Penguin. I quit. Uh, no, everyone. I think the most fair way fairest. is- Fairest. Bueller. What? It's not most fair, it's fairest. Bueller. Fairest way to do it is this. We pull names out of a hat. Really? No one else is- I said I was Batman. That's not a secret identity. No one look at yours yet. Catwoman, please, God, Catwoman, please. And remember, when you're staking these villains out, it's important to stay out of sight. Whoever is planning this can't know what we're up to, because it will change their pattern. 
Here you go, Batman. I don't need it. I've already deduced what my target is to everyone else picking out theirs. But no one has revealed who they're following yet. Doesn't matter. I've deduced it. I used math. It works better when it's in my head. Math likes the quiet. Why don't you just humor us? What is humor? Take the damn paper. Oh, well, look at that. I was right. Who the hell is Marilyn? One of my greatest foes. How is she, uh, proportionally? Marilyn is one of the greatest criminal masterminds slash archers of this time. A truly worthy and conniving individual. I was talking about cup sizes. Marilyn's a man. Who wants to trade? Ah, crap. I got the Joker. Yeah, I got the Joker. It looks like the Joker is going to have to deal with the JLA's jokester. <laughs> okay, you don't have to keep humoring us. Well, Flash, I got Mirror Master. Anything I should know about him? He likes to use- Mirrors? Thanks. Helps. I have Lex Luthor. Be careful. Luthor is dangerous. They're all dangerous. Lex is especially dangerous. The way you call him Lex is really cute. The way I call him by his name is really cute? Lex just sounds like a cute little pet name you made up for him. Lex is his name. That's what he goes by. What do you want me to do? Call him Lexington Luther? Okay, even I have to admit, that's pretty sexy. Of course you'd think that. Your name is Barry. You share your name with a guy most 70-year-olds listen to right before they get it on. He's talking about Barry White. I gather. Barry White the musician. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, well, at least there aren't two of the Flashes in the Justice League. I can't just call you green, can I? Okay, I was minding my own business. Why was I brought into this? Oh, we're off subject. I have Cheetah. Wonder Woman, since that's your area of expertise, I'll be gathering intel from you later. Sure, that won't make Lex jealous. Uh, for the love of- Batman? Who did you get? Hector Hammond. I'm okay with that. He's got a big head. My favorite. All right, then. Let's head out and report in while we all have something. Justice League, out. Oh, because we both have green in our title. Is anyone getting anything? Nothing strange here with Cheetah. <laughs> Guys. She just killed a lion. Lions are not indigenous to that area. See, I hear you say that, but I saw Cheetah just kill a lion. Well, I see you lift up entire buildings, but I hear you talk like a complete idiot. I'm not sure what you're saying you saw, but I'm telling you. I'm telling you that I am physically here and present, and that Cheetah is dead. Oh, crap. Cheetah's dead. Be right back. Come out. Where are you? Well, that was the opposite of my intention. All better. I'm hunting the assailant right now. Cheetah has been killed. I repeat, Cheetah has been assassinated. She ain't the only one. I don't know how you're going to be able to take this big guy, but Lex Luthor was just killed. Luthor's dead? I'm looking for the guy right now, but I'm not finding anything. Well, let's, uh, we need to... We need to set up a rendezvous point. Let's meet back at, uh, at the Watchtower. I'll let everyone else know. Over and out. Luthor's dead. So, what's the word? Hey, Batman? What? The Joker's effed up, man. Oh my god, right? Did you know he uses pancake batter for deodorant? No, I did not. Yeah, the Joker's effed up, man. Have they been briefed? No. Cheetah and Lex Luthor were killed. The numbers of our enemies are rapidly declining. I would assume that someone with this power would also have great influence. And judging by the nature and timing of Cheetah and Luthor's death, it's safe to assume Whoever that- Whoever this is! They aren't working alone. Does anyone else have anything to report? Flash? I got nothing but a new respect for Old Spice. Green Lantern? Marilyn read the encyclopedia the whole time. Wonder Woman? Justice League! Justice League, come in! Wonder Woman? I was ambushed. I request immediate backup. Continue, Wonder Woman. Where is your location? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I think it's... Who are you? Just let me make one thing clear. Until I'm sure you're a woman, I'm gonna hit you like a man. They look pretty real to me, Bats. Shut up, Flash. Reveal yourself. <gasps> Hector Hammond. That's impossible. I was sent to keep an eye on you. Yes, yeah, so and we predicted that. So we set up quite the little ruse. He's not doing anything punch-worthy. You've all done surprisingly well. Yes, there- <gasps> Oh! What was that? I'm exp- oh! Explain yourself! I'm trying! <laughs> Quit stalling! Why don't we just hold off on the punching? We do need some information from the guy. I was trying to say that. Yes, there is someone else working behind the scenes. Someone that you've never faced before. Someone brilliant. Okay, I'm not talking until he's in another room. He gave up Wonder Woman's whereabouts. We're going to go find her. She's on a different planet. I'll stay here and watch Hammond. Uh, actually, we decided that maybe I should stay here. 
and you should go with the group. Why is that? We just assume that you'd be a pretty bad babysitter. All right, you want my advice? Just knock him unconscious so you don't have anything to worry about. Yeah, this goes back to the babysitter comment just a few seconds ago. You just head out with the guys and I'll watch this one. Remember. <clears throat> Got it. 20 bucks says she's in there. Oh yeah? 30 bucks says she's in there. I don't think you understand how gambling works. 50 bucks says you don't understand how gambling works. Well, gentlemen, looks like we'll get to use our toys after all. <laughs> Let's get ready for round two. If this is going to be a common occurrence, I feel like I'm going to have a lot more free time. Are they dead? I don't know. Superman, go see if they're dead. No pulse on any of them. A job well done? Tomorrow, I'll wake up and not have to worry about how you'll break out of Arkham. This is a freedom I never thought I'd have to bear. We still have to get Wonder Woman. I'll do it. <laughs> okay. I have to make sure you're the real Wonder Woman. Okay. Now we come to the paradox of knowing that you are the real Wonder Woman, and I'm afraid to let you out. I don't think I need to tell you all the gravity of our current situation. We have to get back to the tower immediately. Why? That's where they plan to strike next. So guys, I've got some good news and bad news. The good news is you guys aren't here, so you won't die in a horrific fiery explosion. The bad news is that I'm here, and I'm probably going to die in a horrific fiery explosion. Can you get to safety? Someone's coming! Ah, ah, no! Arrow! Arrow, are you there? Arrow! Uh, yeah, I'm here. Can you get to safety? Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what. Why don't we all meet up at the Fortress of Solitude? Superman's pad. Yeah, yeah, let's meet there. I'll fit you guys in. All right, we'll meet you there. Um, can you send me the coordinates? My GPS is broken. Um, one second. What's wrong, Batman? It's a trap. Someone's holding him hostage. He wants the coordinates to the fortress so he can destroy it, just like they did the Watchtower. Send him somewhere else. Got it. Hey, Green Arrow, my best friend and soulmate. Laying it on a little thick there. I'm sending you the coordinates right now. To my house. It's a sweet bachelor pad of power and groovy. <laughs> Can't wait for tonight. Love you. God bless. Bye. Well, that went smoothly. That was smooth. That was quite possibly the worst performance I've ever seen. And Green Lantern would know. He's been in a lot of relationships. Really, Superman, I didn't buy it. Not much of a natural flow, if you know what I mean. You guys want natural, real acting? Then check it out. Holy crap! Where did Superman go? Now we need a plan. Wonder Woman, just what are we up against? He never said his name, but he has the power to push and pull the center of gravity from any object he so pleases. He can make himself as light or as heavy as he wants without changing mass. And he's pulled some sort of deal with the supervillains, but he disposes of them afterwards. What's Green Arrow's chance of survival? Six. Six what? Like six percent? No, like six out of ten. So, like sixty percent? No, just six out of ten. Okay, since we're obviously not on the same level here, Wonder Woman, is that good or bad? It isn't good. Okay, well, that didn't help at all. That answered neither of my questions. He needs to be at most a two. Okay, we need to go fight or my head is going to explode. Flash, can I talk to you for a second? In regards to a plan. Seriously, dude, where's Superman? You'll pay dearly for this. Arrow, what happened? Well, Hammond's dead. Imagine that. Who is it? What's going on? We need some concrete answers. Yeah, I could use some too. First, why am I sitting here freezing my ass off when you said you were giving me the coordinates to your Fortress of Solitude? We knew you were taken hostage, and we weren't willing to compromise another of our secret locations. Surely you understand. The frostbite keeps me from understanding. Arrow, stay focused. Where is he? I have a bone to pick with him. That kind of turned me off. He's here, somewhere. Somewhere amidst this tundra. And you don't think I'm pissed? When I get my hands on him, I'm going to send an arrow right through his throat. How are you going to send an arrow through his throat with your hands on him? Can we not be a smartass today, Lantern? We aren't being a smartass. Only I am. We can't start bickering here. Not when we're so close. Arrow, how do we get him out here? <laughs> Hell if I know. This doesn't make any sense! What doesn't, Batman? He's had us in his hands numerous times, and he hasn't capitalized on any of the opportunities. He has a means to destroy our greatest enemies, find out our secret identities, discover where we live, 
and devised plans to get us away from each other and your own base, then why hasn't he come out and attacked us? Maybe that's not the point. Then why go through all this trouble? Because it's time Earth had a hero that really dealt with the problems at hand. Where are you? Show yourself. I'm still freezing! The Justice League. A line of heroes that do nothing but bicker and throw criminals into prisons and insane asylums. Tell me, why do gods let their monsters run free? Damn it! Show yourself! Calm down, Bruce. Calm down. I'm right here. The name is Kenosis Helios. But I'm sure you'll come to know me as Earth's new savior. Hold on. Batman is Bruce Wayne? What is justice that allows evil to persist? I'm not going to be able to handle this much longer if he keeps talking like my 8th grade emo face. You have done well to follow my tracks, even though it was something even a child could have easily done. Yeah, well, unluckily for you, we aren't children. We're the Justice League. Good one, Arrow. And here you are, delivered to me in a remote location with no witnesses. I can only imagine what questions the media and press will have when they ask me what happened to the Justice League, Earth's mightiest, outdated heroes. That's not our tagline. How can you plan so intricately and miss something so big right in front of your eyes? Uh, um, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Go! Now! He can change his weight in our centers of gravity. And then there's me, who doesn't take her own advice. <laughs> He's making my feet too heavy to move! We have to work as a team. We can't distort all of us at once. I don't know where you developed that theory, but it isn't true. Batman? Any plans? You know me. What? Barry Allen is Batman? Not exactly. Please! Mercy! Mercy! No, I fell for that once with my brother and never again will I fall for the mercy card! All right, Kenosis. It's time you were put in your place. Oh, you just don't get it, do you? You somehow managed to miss the whole point, didn't you? Don't you get it? I'm a hero. You're a murderer. The people of Earth sure aren't going to think of me that way. Not when I'm responsible for getting rid of the men and women who've kept them enslaved for years. And not when I'm the one who did what the Justice League never would. I ended evil. I didn't incarcerate it. I devoured it. You throw me into jail, and what does that make you? A team of jealous hasbians with divine powers and financial blessings. That's not what a hero is. You want to risk that public image you've been trying to rebuild for decades? You sure won't do it by throwing me into Arkham. The people of Earth see you locking me up and swallowing the key, and they'll revolt. You mark my words, they'll revolt! Then I guess we'll just have to kill you. You won't kill me. You wouldn't kill the criminals that, collectively, have committed genocide time and time again. Kenosis, I don't like the cold. So if you didn't want to die, maybe you shouldn't have tied me up and dropped me off in the Arctic. Oh, well, I see. I didn't know that before. Now that I do... Arrow, behave. We've not made any decisions yet. What's to talk about? We've been through this kind of thing a hundred times over. But this is different. This does more than keep us from playing cops and robbers. He runs free. He runs free with our identities, our press, everything that we've worked for. The arrow makes a good point. Hmm. Always time for a good pun. I stand by that. Superman, you know me better than anyone. And you know that if the situation were different, I'd be the first one to stand up for his right to life. But the way things are now, I can't let him walk away. We have a responsibility as heroes of this planet, to all life, even those undeserving. But are we heroes? Really? I mean, look, I can't stand the guy, but he's right. What if he's been the only one to really take what justice means to heart? Justice gives perspective, Arrow. I didn't join the League for self-righteousness. That means I have to put aside what I think is deserving and look at what I know is right and righteous and killing isn't. I've been more than vocal on my decision in these matters. He's pathetic, but he lives, by my word. All life has a purpose. It's the only thing I know to be true. And that's why it's my mission to defend that life. I don't believe accidents occur on the scale of human existence. I don't believe in the spontaneous generation of the soul. And that leaves us at a draw. Three to three. There's no gray area than life and death. No! 
No, there isn't. And so, I have a quick solution. Yes, yes. If he wants justice, then let's give it to him. By trial, by the people of Earth, his peers. Yes, yes. Are you kidding me, Batman? Do you not fully realize what he's done? Of course the people will rejoice. He won't be taken away. He'll be given a parade. You all must be under the impression that his jury will be made up by men and women that he quote unquote saved. But that's not what I said. I said he'd be given a jury, yes, but a jury by his peers. Kenosis Helios, you will be placed on trial in front of the men who commit your crimes. Murderers. Desecrators. People who won't take their screaming baby out of the theater when you're trying to watch Titanic. Scum. And they will find you innocent or guilty. If you are found innocent, then you will be incarcerated, but not here on Earth. Somewhere in the distant galaxy. I'm sure I can find a nice, quiet, molten lava-covered planet for you. And if you are found guilty, you will be placed in the hands of the captive. You will be at their complete mercy. And you will be left to be your own hero. And justice will be served. It's not much of a win-win situation for you. But then again, you will get to meet a lot of interesting people. The kind of people who know how to make weapons out of your bowels and skull. And you don't even have to worry about being shy. I hear they aren't much for conversation anyway. And so ends your first trial by the Justice League. Really? The costumes switch up with Flash? Feel bad for the kid, revealing himself like that. Well, we've all got a lot to learn. Thanks for having my back, Bruce. Sure thing, Clark. How do you- When you put your glasses on, I recognized you as the guy who took my picture once when I came to Metropolis. World's greatest detective. World's- Bulkiest Boy Scout. Joined by the world's strongest damsel in distress. And the world's greatest out-of-date beard. And the world's least imaginative pilot. And this sexy-ass pimp. <laughs> what? I don't have self-confidence issues. You're gonna be alright, living with Lex's demise? You're going to make it without the Joker being a nuisance? I can only hope that people will find happiness with their absence. Well, Bruce, even if they can't, that's what we're here for. <laughs>